many nations grapple with a significant issue concerning stray animals, such as cats and dogs, wandering their streets. The sheer number of these animals makes it challenging to find them homes or provide sustenance, resulting in a heart-wrenching sight. In contrast, fewer countries face a similar predicament with horses. Wild horses naturally inhabit many regions, adept at self-sufficiency and exuding a breathtaking beauty. However, today's tale paints a less cheerful picture. These horses once served as working animals, yet now find themselves without a home. Our focus turns to an inspiring rescue story that will both warm and break your heart. In Romania, the long-standing tradition involved using horses and donkeys for transportation and agricultural purposes. Horse-drawn carts remained a common sight in many Romanian cities due to the affordability of owning a horse or donkey with a cart, especially in a country marked by widespread poverty. Nevertheless, this posed challenges when it came to ensuring the well-being of these animals. Even individuals with a deep love for animals and the best of intentions often found themselves struggling to provide for them adequately. They did their best, but their limited resources might not suffice to meet the animals' deserved standards. Although these animals contributed to their owners' modest businesses through the cart, it was the animals that bore the brunt of the load. In a very literal sense, these are the more uplifting stories. Unfortunately, there are much darker tales as well, Eventually, the European Union introduced a new law attempting to prohibit the use of horse-drawn carts on roads, and Romania supported this initiative. Those caught using these carts alongside other vehicles could face fines or even jail time. The law was enacted with the noble goal of restoring these animals' rights and ensuring road safety, but its outcome was far from ideal. While the carts were not technically illegal, there were no roads where they could legally be employed. This compelled people to abandon their carts, a result that some lawmakers had indeed intended. Rather than aiding these working animals, the situation initially worsened. Those who were already financially strained had no means of income. They struggled to provide for their families, let alone the animals that once served as a source of livelihood. Even those deeply committed to their animals faced hardships. Consequently, more and more horses found themselves abandoned on the streets rendered useless to their owners. Letting go of these animals seemed like a desperate attempt to regain financial stability. And then, one family, the Bossi family, emerged as a beacon of compassion. They genuinely cared for their horse, Kopek, and often made sacrifices to ensure his well-being. Despite the economic hardships facing others, the Bossi family stood out for their dedication. They never overloaded the cart, preventing Kopek from enduring the painful blisters that often afflicted working horses. They ensured he had sufficient rest between days of labor, never pushing him to the brink of exhaustion. In short, this was a good-hearted family doing their utmost. But when the new law was enacted, their small business crumbled, leaving them with nothing. The father sought employment, but in a market teeming with job seekers, opportunities were scarce. Moreover, they, like many others, lacked alternative means of transportation, as a horse and cart had served as their primary mode of getting around for years. This adjustment was a significant challenge. Eventually, the husband secured a job, but the meager pay barely covered the cost of the vehicle he needed to commute. The Bassey family endeavored to care for Kopek as best as they could, but they also had to provide for their family. With young children to look after, they faced a dire situation. Kopek was losing weight and desperation set in. They contacted veterinarians and shelters in the area, desperate to avoid abandoning their beloved horse. However, every response was the same. They were at full capacity and unable to accommodate another horse. Financially, taking in another animal was simply not an option. The family was devastated, left with few choices, and then encountered another setback. Their young son suffered a bicycle accident near his school resulting in a broken leg. The medical expenses wiped out their scant savings, leaving them with nothing to care for Kopek. Knowing they had to give him a fighting chance, they scoured the city environment for a place where he might find some food. Finally, outside the city, they discovered a vast open space with abundant grass and a small stream. It was a distance away, and those who abandoned their horses typically wouldn't venture so far in search of a suitable spot. The family took Kopek to this location, their hearts heavy as they bid him farewell. This was the best option available for Kopek, 
but uncertainty lingered about whether it would suffice. In this new environment, at least he would have an abundance of food and water, or so they believed. There were even trees providing much-needed shade. Sadly, the family wouldn't be able to return and check on him. The distance might not appear significant to many, but for them, it meant choosing between a meal for the day or visiting Kopek. Alone and bewildered, he faced this unfamiliar situation. Surrounded by lush grass, the problem lay in the fact that Kopek had spent his life in a stable, primarily fed hay. City life offered no grassy patches, and he didn't recognize the abundant greenery as sustenance. Even in his moments of severe hunger, he couldn't identify the food he was standing on. Perhaps after days of desperation, he took a few hesitant bites, but the grass and trees were dwindling. Drinking from the stream had kept him going, but one early morning, as he approached the water, he found it transformed into ice. Each night was frigid, and his hunger grew more pronounced. This was a far cry from the life Kopek had ever known. He had always been cherished, even though there were years when he didn't receive enough food. Some might argue that he had endured periods of starvation, but nothing compared to this. Now, he found himself clueless about how to fend for himself. The situation became dire. Kopek's strength waned, making it increasingly difficult for him to stand. He was not faring well at all. Night descended, and the cold seeped into every fiber of his being. He felt immobilized and on the brink of surrender. Kopek was moments away from succumbing when an unexpected twist of fate unfolded. Just as he was about to close his eyes, he heard voices drawing nearer. Some of them were familiar, shouting his name and rushing toward him. It was the Bossi family, accompanied by a group of others. Swiftly, those in their company provided him with nourishment and enveloped him in warm blankets. Tears streamed down the faces of the Basi family as they expressed their gratitude to the rescuers. Their unwavering determination to aid their beloved horse had not waned, and they had persistently sought help. Finally, a remarkable rescue mission unfolded in Romania, with animal advocates stepping in to lend their assistance. They gave their all, even when the odds appeared insurmountable. Kopek was taken in and nursed back to health. Someday, they would endeavor to find him a forever home where he would always receive the care he deserved.